This is our 1966 Shelby GT350, serial number SFM 6S289. It was delivered to its original owner, Competition Press and Auto Week magazine, on November 5th, 1965. It was delivered on Carol Shelby, Shelby American Racing Trailer to Competition Press Auto Week magazine's office in San Francisco. My parents bought this car from the magazine in August 1967 $2,600. We've been enjoying this car for over 53 years now, though 28 of the years, 1977 to 2005, it sat in mom's garage without moving. In 2005, I went to a Shelby event, saw them racing the cars, and convinced my mom that it was time to get this car back on the road. After a year and a half of restoration, this is the end result. The restoration was done about 12 years ago. The Krager wheels are the original Carroll Shelby Krager wheels that were delivered on the car. We have the fifth one in the trunk as well. It's a very unique car in the sense that Carroll Shelby's friend who took delivery of this car, Russ Goble, um, had some certain requests. One of those requests was to get a nice radio versus just the Radio Delete or the Philco Ford radio. So it was delivered with two block punt radios from Shelby American. It also has a top loader transmission instead of the typical Borg Warner T10. And it also has an electric antenna. All these items are fully functional. It's a one off vehicle with these unique items. And I have signed documentation from Carol Shelby about these items on this car. Inside, you'll see the original seat covers that came with this car. The original Ray Brown racing seat belts. The dash, the tack, the signatures on the glove box. The unique two block punt radios, one in dash and one under dash. And on that rear seat is the hump I sat on. My parents test drove this car in 1967. I was seven years old at the time. Our GT350 has all four of the original Craig wheels on the car and the original fifth one in the trunk as well. Delivered on the car November 5th, 1965. This is the original bullet mirror. Original side scoops, fully functional, three inch hose down to the two and a half inch drum brakes in the rear. This is another unique item to this one car, an electric antenna installed by Shelby American prior to delivery to Russ Goble of Competition Press in November 1965. It is fully functional. These are the two original block punt radios installed by Shelby American prior to delivery in October 1965 to Shelby's friend Russ Goble at Competition Press Magazine. The first button on the radio is an M 
and that engages the marine band radio below. The switch there, hanging down from the dash, controls the electric antenna. Again, another unique item on this one car. The four signatures on the glove box from four very important people for this car. Carol Shelby, Bob Bondurant, Chuck Cantwell, and Peter Brock. All personally signed. This is the original tack. It has never been removed since it was installed in October 1965, 55 years ago. It is fully functional. These are the original Ray Brown racing seat belts that were delivered on the car November 5th, 1965. This is the original four speed stick shift. This is a close up of the rear seat. Original seat covers, original seat belts, and the hump I sat on over 53 years ago when I was seven years old when my parents test drove this car. This is the original GT350 ID plate. It's being held in by the original rivets installed in October 1965. The GT350 maintains its original drivetrain, original 715 Holly. We have the original valve covers and Cobra oil pan. The radiator has its original top and bottom tank, dated March 65. And our GT350 has the original Coney shocks stamped July 65. They were rebuilt by Coney for me. For more information and photos and history about our GT350, visit our website at 66GT350.com.